Our last video update to you was mid-October. At that time, I made the observation that our financial markets continued to be marked with low volatility. And while much had been said about that topic at the time, I shared with you what was less appreciated was that this was happening at a time of historically subdued volatility in economic data. These two low volatility environments, both market and macro, tend to overlap each other. Indicators such as U.S. employment and inflation at that time were among their lowest volatile in decades. Fast forward to today and volatility indeed has returned. After more than 18 months of nearly uninterrupted advances, the U.S. equity market started declining with a large sell-off the first week of February. So what might help shed light on the why? We think the answer may lie in the economic data. In contrast to the low economic volatility environment of economic data last October, we now have the data showing volatility. And the biggest factor was a stronger than expected jobs report in January. That showed rising wage pressures, which has increased concerns about inflation and possible changes to monetary policy. So if we think about it, employee costs make up the largest percentage of business expenses, which are typically passed on to consumers in the form of higher prices. That can translate to inflation. In the past, the Federal Reserve has attempted to slow down demand by raising interest rates. So the question looming in the minds of investors is, will policymakers now raise rates more than expected in 2018? And so we have volatility. I think it's worth remembering that the low volatility environment we experienced in 2017 was the exception, not the norm. Still, it can be uncomfortable. So where are we now and what are we watching? We have tax reform in place. What was only a hope in 2017 is now a reality. Now we watch to see the impact. The expectation is a powerful tailwind with tax reform combined with government spending and reduced regulation. Remember, a tailwind is not always a smooth ride. And so while we expect more volatility on the horizon, we also believe this combination may support growth in consumer spending and business investment, allowing the U.S. economy to accelerate growth in 2018. Around the world, global growth is also strong, while emerging markets continue to benefit from increased investment. The global expansion we spoke about last October continues. Our portfolios are strategically allocated to remain invested through these times of both low volatility and high volatility. Our portfolio construction team at BlackRock works with us to help us better understand risk and positioning on an ongoing basis. We recently met with them and reviewed the Monarch strategies. We continue to see opportunities in the financial and technology sectors and in emerging markets, and we see new opportunities in small cap exposure. This quarter, we're increasing our exposure to emerging markets, we're adding small cap exposure, and we're also changing our bond exposure slightly to help curtail volatility impact. Our goal is to participate as opportunities develop while continuing to keep risk in check and appropriate based on your individual risk tolerance and goals. We will be watching policy from the Fed, particularly interest rate changes, policy in Washington, and of course the fundamentals, earnings and productivity. And we're watching out for each of you. Your personal planning is the cornerstone and most basic fundamental that will help our clients make progress toward their goals. Please let us know what questions you may have and how we can help. Thanks for listening.